Hi, my name is Mike Kerner. I'm with Sapphire Scientific, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the problems that you will face at one time or another with sensitive surfaces such as marble. Uh, for your customers, they're going to buy marble because it's beautiful, it's shiny, and they love it. This kind of material, though, they don't realize is very, very sensitive. It scratches very easily, and they also don't realize, as you might, that that type of material is very sensitive to acid. Most of your customers also have no idea where acid is going to be found in their day-to-day -day environment. You're going to be using acids in your work as well, and we're going to show you how you can get into some trouble with this. Here's an example. There's a lot of acids that you'll find in your average home. Orange juice is an example. Lemons are an example. Vinegar is an example. Vinegar is not a very strong acid, but we're going to show what can happen with just a momentary contact of vinegar on a polished marble surface. So we'll take this vinegar and squirt a little bit on the surface and smooth it over. Let it sit for a 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Give it a rinse. right off and you'll see that in just that very short exposure we've got an etched marble surface. This is something that uh, is not going to go away just with drying. This is permanent. Permanent in the sense that it's not going to be removed by cleaning. It will be something that we could help you uh, correct. So give us a call about that. Another thing that you have to watch out for is that as you're doing your work, you use acid rinses, you use acid stain removers. These materials can also get onto countertops, can get onto floors, and so if you have overspray during your work, get that overspray up right away. Again, if it should happen that this occurs to you, give us a call, look us up at sapphirescientific.com and we can help you fix this. So, have a great day.